Hey everybody, Syntax77 here, and for this video, I want to take a look at a piece of gear that I'm kind of excited to get my hands on. In fact, I just got my hands on it. You see, I was uh, on the computer, imagine that, the other day, and in my inbox for the old YouTube was a subject line that kind of caught my attention. And it's quite simply said, better than the Sawyer Mini. And I said, oh, okay, well, what's this? I'm always up for something new. What's going on? And it was from a person who worked at, actually I believe the person who originated the company, called Renovo. And he said basically, to paraphrase, just launched a new product called the Renovo Trio and I believe it is better than both the Sawyer Squeeze and Mini. Alright, you got my attention. He said, as an avid backpacker and veteran, I designed a filter that has high utility and extreme filtration and uh, would you like to check it out? Give it a shot. Well, Certainly would. I told him sounds interesting to me and boom all of a sudden it's in my mailbox. Now it's called the Renovo Trio and the reason for that as I've come to find out is that it does three levels of filtration. Now I'm lightly familiar with this because I've googled it a bit and uh, obviously I talked to the person who sent it to me but this is really my first time looking at it so I'm kind of learning everything just like you my faithful viewer is. So we're going to take a look at the package that I just took out of the uh, old mailbox and see what's going on. Oh, one, two, three. Now that would probably be... Uh, oh, okay, that's three different ways to use it. There's also three different types of filtration, but let's see the three different ways to use it. Gravity, bottle, we'll have to test that out. I'm not sure which kind of bottles. And straw filter, okay, kind of survival style. And says it's one of the most advanced water filters available, unique three-stage process and industry-leading filter pore size of 0.05 microns. Wow, now that's actually, as far as I'm concerned, kind of a game changer for a portable backpacking unit. The squeeze and just about anything else you can find, actually a lot of things don't even go down as far as the squeeze. But anyway, the squeeze is actually a 0.1. This is going down to 0.05. Now, anything below point one, I haven't seen in a backpacking portable type filter. I know in my other videos I've said that and people have said, well, there's this filter and that filter to go down to point oh one or whatever. And that's true, but for something that's actually affordable and portable or translation practical for backpacking, bugging out, bushcraft, uh, emergency type situations, uh, no, there's really nothing out there. I didn't think there was at least until this guy sent me this to check out. 0.05, that's a whole nother ball game. That kind of moves you into removing, as uh, is written right here, uh, salmonella, some viruses, E. coli, cholera. I mean, you're getting into the removing some viruses range there. Protozoa, like Giardia and stuff like that. Now that that is uh, expected because 0.1 filters will do that. Um, so that is expected, but that is definitely, uh, oh, heavy metals, lead, mercury, cadmium, huh, interesting, organic chemicals, pesticides, and chlorine. All right, so there must be more going on in here, obviously, than just regular filtration or the filtration I'm used to. Combination, okay, here we go, of pre-filter, medical grade ultra filtration membrane filter, and a carbon fiber absorption filter. Wow, is ideally suited to remove over 99.99% of uh, contaminants, including bacteria, protozoa, organic compounds, and even some viruses, okay, which is what I was just talking about. All right, so that's new to me, having a carbon filter built in and then basically two levels of filtration before it. That's pretty cool. And then you also get the different hookups. So let's, let's open it up and see what's going on, if I can actually get it open, see how smart I am. Pop it right out. All right, what do we got here? Like I said, I'm learning. I'm learning just as you are. But this looks like some sort of replacement um, filter thing going on there for probably one of the layers. And I'll do a full review on this. Obviously, I just want to show you guys because I'm excited to learn about it myself. Um, so this is just kind of a first impressions video. I'm going to give this plenty of use. And based on what they're saying this is intended for, I'm going to really try my best to give it some use, put it through some dirty water and do all kinds of crazy stuff. So probably within a few trips or so, 
um, I'll be able to do a final verdict video, but we're just kind of looking at it for the first time here. All right, so this cap is connected. That's a plus. I hate losing caps, so that's nice. So that pops off. There's your tip there, and it looks like dirty water hookup there. All right, you know what? Before I get too far, let's actually just look at the booklet for emergency, survival, hiking, camping, hunting, or travel. Okay, perfect. Um, all right, filter tip. That's what we were just looking at. That makes sense. Connector inlet, right, for the dirty water, like we were talking about, right there. Uh, filter body, sure. Stage two, oh, stage one is our pre-filter. Okay, so it's got a pre-filter here, apparently. And then we're going to go to the UF, or ultra filter. Must be in the body there. And then stage three at the end, it's going to hit that carbon filter. Now that should, I have to study up on this some more. I've never used a carbon filter out in the field, but um, that should do a lot for taste and stuff. And it should also help with some chemical removal, which you are not going to get with a traditional filter. Um, those chemicals are going to slip right through no matter what, um, or at least no matter what your traditional pore size is, as far as I know. Also, it tastes. Um, when I'm using the Sawyer Squeeze, you know, it's great. I, I love it, but I will say you can taste the difference depending on where you're getting water from, how good, what quality of water you're getting. So the carbon filter, carbon filters in general should help with uh, taste and everything. So that is an interesting feature, I will say. All right, back to the book. Place the tree up for direct filtration. So you see, you can put it right into a water source and it is longer than uh, the squeeze, so it's got a little reach on it. Now the squeeze has a little straw on it, but this one, or a straw you can carry around the hook on it, but this one, no need to carry the extra straw. It looks like you just put it right into the source. Briefly blow air through the filter, slowly sip water through filter. After drinking, allow water to drip from the filter, then blow out remaining water. Interesting, so that's your emergency kind of direct style. Water filtration, here we go, a bottle I should say. Thread the connector onto a standard 28 millimeter bottle. Drink directly through the filter or squeeze it into a container. So let's see. Now I'm doing this cold, to be perfectly honest, but I have I don't have an actual soda bottle, which I feel like maybe what they're referring to. But I do have a one liter water bottle. And I know from experience, I think those threads are different. Yeah, those threads are different. Let's try it with, this is a platypus. Oh, bingo. All right. So, already we found that um, my platypus, platypus bag works. Now, that's probably going to be pretty cool for some of you because a lot of people use these. So, I'm happy with that. Platypus working right on there. I could use this basically to squeeze water or hook my carabiner up to uh, this guy or clip it however, let it hang, and do a little gravity filtration right out of a platypus bag that I already have. All right, cool. Well, now the soda bottle, I, um, I actually don't have to test, but I'm assuming like a standard maybe two liter is that 28 millimeter bottle that he's re, uh, referring to in the booklet here. So that'll all be in my full testing stage. We'll see exactly what kind of bottles, what range of bottles we can use. But the fact that it can use a platypus bag right out of the gate, I'm cool with that. Set up a little gravity um, setup. And yeah, very cool. The model is called the Trio. 0.05 micron, so like I said, you got even higher level of protection. Uh, weight, three and a half list weight on the, three and a half ounces list weight on the product package here. Let's just uh, pull out a scale and see. Get the old scale there, zero it out, pop it on, three ounces. So actually, certainly not above what the list weight was. It's actually a half ounce under, which is cool because once you get it wet, even after you shake it out, you know, you're going to have a little bit of residual weight in there. So even with some residual water weight, I'm assuming it'll actually ring in true uh, at three and a half ounces or less, apparently. Not bad on the weight. Now size-wise, might as well point that out. You can see there it is in the palm of my hand for reference or as I usually like to do. Where is it at? Put it next to the old post-it notes that for whatever reason I have down here in the filming area. There it is next to post-it notes. Or really, let's be more realistic. If they want to compare it to the sewer squeeze, then that's certainly what we'll do. And you can see it's actually thinner but longer uh, than the Sawyer squeeze. This is the original Sawyer squeeze. Um, so it's 
thinner profile. It is a little bit longer probably to accommodate the fact that it's got three stages of filtration going on in there. Actually, you can see it's like the fact that it's got a carbon filter down here is what's adding that little bit of extra length on is one way to look at it probably. So there it is compared in size to the Sawyer Squeeze just right off the bat. That's interesting. And in terms of weight, the uh, this is two and a half ounces. I believe I just weighed it. Let's see, just to be fair. Yep, two and a half on the Sawyer original and three ounces on this. So about an extra half ounce and maybe an extra inch of length. And that's the trade-off for the two extra stages of filtration. So we'll see how it works, but uh, if it can if it can go through some uh, crappier water, then that could very well be worth the uh, extra half ounce for sure. Let's see what else is in the book here. Uh, cleaning and maintenance is listed on there. I'm sure I'll get into that as I actually start to use it in the field and whatnot. And filter replacement, okay. You got carbon filter replacement as well as that UF filter replacement there. And actually, let's just try to kind of follow the directions there and get access to that carbon filter. It says we can just, okay, yep. It says we can just roll down this rubber here, turn it counterclockwise, oh, I felt it, and Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, cool. So there's a view of the carbon filter area there. That's our last stage of filtration apparently. And then I'm not going to get into it now, but uh, it says I can also replace the UF filter by going even further. So that's pretty cool. I'll just pop it back together like that. And I guess I pop the rubber back up and yeah, we're back in operating condition. Interesting. Yeah, that's pretty much it right now. So, yeah, just wanted to kind of show you what I'm I'm looking at, and we're gonna start trying this out, testing it out, take it on some trips. I mean, this is uh, with that three different types of filtration. We're gonna put this thing through its paces. Um, I'm really gonna find some bad water to try to drink out of. Um, I'll guinea pig that for everybody, and we'll see what we come up with. So, there it is. First impressions, the Renovo Trio three-stage water filtration system. We'll see how it works. Look forward to uh, trying it out. So stay posted for an update. Till next time, I'm Syntax77. Have fun out there. <laughs>